let's read this question a ball is projected upwards at uh, 15 meters per second from a platform which is 20 meters above the ground so let's understand that say this is the ground say this is the ground and this is the platform obviously we've got a platform here okay so this is the platform so this is 20 meters from here the ball is thrown okay so the ball is thrown somewhat like this say the ball goes like this and it drops okay it goes up and then it comes down so this is the situation so uh, the velocity at which it was thrown is uh, 15 meters per second so we can say your velocity is 15 meters per second is 15 meters per second when t is equal to zero that's first information and when t is zero your distance so in calculus we use s for the uh, for distance so we can say the distance s is 20 meters when again time is equal to zero so these are the two facts that are given okay so let me draw a sketch of this graphically now what does this mean so this is your y and this is your x-axis okay so so here yeah, this is say 20 meters above, above the ground so this is suppose s this is distance and this is the time so at time zero it is 20 it is 20 meters away oh, sorry above and then it it's the ball goes like this okay now <clears throat> what do we know so the deceleration of the ball is constantly at 10 meters per second squared so acceleration is given to be 10 and it is going downwards so I'm going to write acceleration like this so you can say acceleration is given to be minus 10 okay because it's going downwards it is decelerating at this it has a velocity of 15 meters per second and from there it is continuously decreasing at a deceleration of 10 meters per second squared okay so from if you want acceleration so let me uh, let me delete this okay so I don't need this now so what is given is what do we know your acceleration is dv by dt your acceleration is dv by dt is acceleration okay so uh, if you want to find if acceleration is given this is a gradient function so if you differentiate a with respect to time you get velocity okay so let me again explain okay so what do I mean by that so your velocity is ds by dt s is distance velocity is ds by dt which implies integration of v when you integrate velocity with respect to time because integration is the opposite of differentiation you get your s that is distance and acceleration is dv by dt acceleration is dv by dt which implies if you integrate acceleration with respect to time you get velocity okay you get velocity oops you get velocity so this is v okay so what I'm going to do is let me okay I'll use this much space so I think I can do this so your velocity what I'm saying is velocity is integration of a dt okay so this is equal to integration of what is a a is given to be minus 10 dt now 10 can be written as t 10 t to the power 0 so this is integrating this will be 10 t to the power 1 minus 10 to the power 1 over 1 plus c so let me delete this I need delete and this also I'm deleting okay so velocity so let me use a space here so velocity is equal to uh, minus 10 t plus c so now I need to find 
C. For that, I know when T is 0, when T is 0, what's your velocity? Your velocity is 15. So I'll let us put this back in this equation. So I can say 15 is equal to, this becomes 0 plus C. So this means C is equal to 15. Okay, so you can, uh, yeah, you can say velocity as a function of time is what? Uh, minus 10t plus 15. Minus 10t plus 15. So your velocity when time is 0 is 15, and then it is decreasing at the rate of 10 meters per second every second. That's why the acceleration is minus 10 meters per second squared. Okay, now the question is, how much, okay, what's the greatest height? Okay, so the question is, the greatest height that the ball has reached. Okay, I think, I'll, so the question is, we want to find S. Okay, so let me use a different color. S is, as we saw, S is integration of V dt. Integrate velocity, which is a gradient function. With respect to time, you get distance. So now you know velocity is how much? Velocity is minus 10t plus 15 dt. dt. So this 15 can be written as 15t to the power 0. So integrating this, again, you increase the power by 1. So this is minus 10t squared over 2 minus 15, sorry, plus 15t over 1 plus c. So your distance as a function of time is minus phi t squared plus 15t plus c. Now we need to figure out the c. For that we know when time is 0, when time is 0, your s is 20. So I know when s is 20, s is 20 when time is 0. So if you put this back in this equation, I can say z 20 is equal to, so this is, if you put 0, uh, if you put 0 in this, it will be 0 plus 0 plus C. So your C is 20. C is going to be 20. So we can say S as a function of time is minus phi T squared minus phi T squared minus phi T squared plus 15 T plus 20. Now, I hope you understand this is a quadratic equation, and if you graph this, the sketch of this would look somewhat like this. You have to have a graphical understanding in uh, calculus. So this the sketch would be, it will be starting at 20. This equation tells me it does matches with what we saw. This is going up and it's going to come down. Okay, so this is your S and this is your T. This is your, so let me scroll this to okay so this is your this is going to go down so this is your t and this is your s and this is 20. so you get the maximum when your gradient at this point is going to be zero so you have to differentiate this so let us differentiate so ds by dt ds by dt is equal to drop the power down so this is minus 10t plus 15 minus 10t plus 15, and that's what we got, isn't it? Minus 10t plus 15 is uh, when this is going to, this is this is nothing but velocity. ds by dt is nothing but velocity. So in other words, what are we saying is, you reach the maximum height when your velocity is equal to zero. I hope you understand. Here you have got a, here the, here the velocity is positive. Okay, so here it's going to go up, and then it's going to go down. Okay, so ds by dt is minus 10t plus 15. This is nothing but your velocity. And you have to set that equal to 0 to find the maximum height. So this is minus 10t is equal to minus 15. So you can say 10t is equal to 15. So t is 1.5. So after 1.5, seconds is it minutes or seconds just make them yeah it's seconds so, so after so at 1.5 seconds you reach the maximum height okay so i'm going to use my graphic calculator to explain this so let us 
Uh, the equation is minus 5t squared. So go to your graphic calculator. Okay, and go to graph and type in minus 5x squared plus 15x plus 20. So yeah, this is a parabola, so I'll go change the scale from 0 to, say, 5. Okay, and I'll go from 0 to 35. Okay, and scale of 5, and then draw the graph. So this is your basic parabola. So this is your S, and this is your T. So when time is 0, your the ball is at 20 meters. It goes up, okay, and it reaches the maximum velocity here. So you go G sol and maximum. So this is your T. At 1.5 second, you reach the maximum height of 31.25. So you can say your S, okay, maximum height, maximum height when time is equal to, when T is equal to 1.5 seconds. And we know the height is, so the maximum height maximum height is 31.25 or you can put 1.31.25 meters or you can put this 1.5 in this function if you put 1.5 here you get 31.25 okay so you answer the first question what's the maximum height it reaches it is 31.25 meters 31.25 meters so how many seconds after it was thrown, it reaches the ground? So let me again use a calculator. So the ground, so when time is zero, it's at 20 meters. So we want to find at what time it hits the ground. Okay, so basically you want to find the x-intercept. So g sol root. So when x is 4, it reaches the height of 0. Can you see this is y0, that means... Your height is zero, that means you're at ground level. So the answer is, after how many seconds? That is four seconds. After four seconds, the ball is on the ground. Okay. And what is the velocity of the ball when it hits the ground? In other words, what's the function of velocity? Your velocity is given to be minus 10t plus 15 minus 10 t plus 15 so I'm going to put 4 here so this is minus 10 times t which is 4 plus 15 which is minus 40 plus 15 so your velocity after 4 seconds or when it hits the ground is minus 25 meters per seconds or this velocity the negative velocity means it is going down Okay, or you can also write velocity is 25 meters per second down. 25 meters per second down because you vect, uh, velocity is a vector quantity and this minus is only telling me that the, veloc the velocity of the ball is going down because that's where it, when it hits the ground, it is going down technically. So at this point, this point is 4 seconds. At this point, it has a velocity of 25 meters per second and the direction is down and that is why you got a negative velocity.